Hello everybody, Meliodas here, and today I am showing you a game called uh, Fallout Shelter. It's a fun game. It's, uh, I don't know, a uh, resource collecting, surviving, see how much you can progress kind of game. Um, anyways, uh, when you first start, you get some dwellers in your place, and you want to put them in. Ooh, I uh, found this by somewhere. I don't think I can find him. Don't know where he is. Hmm. And I know why is you get some guys and can collect stuff. Each place has their own uh, special ability use for different skill levels of player characters and use those with better abilities in certain places you can get your resources quicker so you don't lose and in certain rooms like this one you can level your guys up skill wise and I just level them up there's a whole bunch of different rooms you can get uh, certain rooms require a certain amount of dollars before you can make them, but I have the maximum of building rooms. I have the... No, I don't have the maximum amount. I have the most requirement. There's nothing higher after a hundred dollars. So... But you can collect weapons, go exploring, find things out in the wasteland. It's a it's a fun casual game. Um, if you want to see more, just let me know. But I just thought I'd show you a little bit. Uh, there's events that happen throughout the game and things like that. And if you're really feeling up for it, you can rush and get risk. There's a chance that it will fail. Even if it says it's low, I tend to get on the side where I fail. So, I'm not very lucky with that. But once that happens, you really can't move any other people. But you can move different people into different rooms if you want them to do different things. For instance, I want someone walking around. This guy. And they put out the fire. Um, need some help. Uh, you can move people into rooms with incidents to help out, and then they'll go back when they're when the incident's done with. So another person to help fight the fire. So it'll go a little faster, I guess. And they'll be in there. Resources. And I'm getting low on water. Need to put the water guy in the back. Uh, anyways, where did I see that guy walking around? This guy. I'm gonna move him into here. Side is the place he needs to be in. Where he is most beneficial. Uh, okay. The higher the level the person is, the high the more beneficial they are to uh, the places you put them in. So if I put that guy in here, this person has high levels and agility, so they can go in the kitchen. This guy is very intelligent, so I am going to move him to one of the science labs, this one, so you can help produce ten the hats. Uh, it, when the people are in this, uh, supply, the rooms that you get supplies from, 
uh, they will obtain experience, which will level up their overall level. But if you want their special leveled up, you will need to put them in one of these level enhancing stations. Fitness room. There's the weapon station. A lot of these are upgraded a lot, so it's not the lowest level. And if you heard in the background, uh, like a little, little jingle, there's a guy that comes in with a little trench coat and hat that you want to look for. He's very helpful. Um, he is full level, so no need to put him there. Ten is the max, if you were wondering. You can no, you cannot go past level ten. And some of these characters have my name, last name, because I thought it'd be interesting. This person. Let's go to school because I'm not very intelligent without that lab coat. Uh, bring this stuff up. Um, I think I'm gonna grab someone who is not really doing anything. Someone who is just strolling. She can go up here. Where all the high weapon characters are, in case of attacks, everyone who I have with strong weapons are up at the top. So when I do get attacked, I can take care of it. You are going to go out on a mission. Oh, that's. I didn't know that. That's how you put max on something. So when you're taking people out, they can only carry 25 um, stems and uh, I don't know what the other thing's called. Whatever it is, this person's max level, max level in intelligence. Uh, you can send people out on quests with the observatory room. Uh, I could show you some of that. Maybe not today. Maybe in another video. If you want to see more gameplay of this, I will show quests and stuff. But this is just the basics. Leveling up the people. Collecting bottle caps. Uh, the bottles are if you want to speed things up. And you can buy them with money if you want to get more. There's also little lunch packs that you can get, and also pet carriers, which gives you pets. Uh, you can find them. Oh, here we go. This is the little guy you need to find and click on, and he'll, he'll give you pet caps. He appears every time you hear that. I just was lucky and saw him up here. Um, so yeah, this is basically the game. I hope you like the concept. You should go check it out. It's available for on iOS for the Apple Store. I think it's also available on Google Play. And if you want to get it for a computer, and you have Steam, you can also get it on Steam. So there's different ways you can play. Um, I play the Steam version because it ha doesn't have any issues and it runs smoothly. But you can do what you feel like you can do. But I hope you enjoyed this and I hope this helped you with seeing a new game. And I will see you in our next video. Goodbye.